My name is Brendan Donnelly. I'm the director of the Federal Trust in London, and I'm going to be talking today about European solidarity. My main argument will be that European solidarity is best guaranteed and consolidated by the institutions of the European Union, and that's been well proved by the Brexit negotiations. When uh, the referendum was over in 2016, there were many people on the Leave side of the argument in the United Kingdom who thought it would be possible to exclude from the Brexit negotiations uh, the Commission and the, the central institutions of the European Union. They thought it would be possible to negotiate directly with France and Germany, and then all the other countries would fall into line. That turned out to be a mistake. Um, but the reason why there were people in Britain who believed that is illuminating. It goes back to the belief that um, the European Union should, in essence, be a, an intergovernmental arrangement, um, not uh, a federal arrangement, not an arrangement with important central institutions. Uh, it was a shock to the British government to find that that view wasn't widely shared, wasn't shared at all throughout the rest of, of continental Europe. Uh, the British had believed that occasional irritation by the French, the Germans, the Poles, the bigger countries of the European Union with the Commission and smaller countries um, was a, a fundamental rift in the European Union. It, it wasn't like that at all. All of these countries in different ways were committed to making the central institutions work and particularly to work in the Brexit negotiations. There was a, a particularly embarrassing moment for Theresa May when at the Salzburg summit um, she find, found herself uh, getting no support from even Mr. Orban, um, on whose uh, support she very much counted because of some of the Eurosceptic rhetoric he occasionally in indulges in. Um, it must be said that it was easier for the Commission um, and for the central institutions of the European Union um, to show solidarity given the um, division and uncertainty within British ranks. Um, that uh, uncertainty uh, that vagueness, which at first was mistaken by, by some Europeans for, for sophisticated British negotiating tactics, that vagueness was essential to the uh, outcome of the referendum. The referendum was one on vague and self-contradictory promises. It would have required a, a very adroit government to be able to make uh, a coherent and sensible narrative uh, out of Brexit, and the British government wasn't capable of doing it. Uh, on the other hand, um, Michel Barnier was um, brilliant um, in keeping negotiating, um, not merely with the British, but also with um, member states of the European Union. Uh, he always ensured that they were well informed uh, and he acted as a, a, a consolidator uh, of their general will to agree uh, a line on Brexit. Uh, and that's what the European Commission is there for. Uh, it's to bring together the general will manifested in the treaties um, of the un of the member states of the European Union to work together in solidarity and effectiveness and, and give it concrete form. Um, Barnier um, succeeded in that marvellously. Uh, I think there are still some people in the United Kingdom who, who don't understand that the success of the European Union in the Brexit negotiation was not just because um, the, United, the European Union was stronger or more numerous, um, but it also was based uh, upon the role of the central institutions. A lot of people in the United Kingdom will be asking themselves, um, can the central institutions of the United Kingdom uh, be as effective and as coherent in bringing the disparate parts of their country together uh, over the next um, years uh, as the consequences of Brexit unfold? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I don't think anybody knows the answer to that. Um, but in 10 years' time, uh, I'll be doing another explainer, explaining why it was inevitable. Either the United Kingdom survived or that it didn't survive. Thank you very much for, for listening and um, stay tuned for more from Tepsil.